In this video, we're we're in this video we're gonna look at the the Lewis structure of the cyanide um, ion. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is calculate how many no how many number of uh, valence electrons you have in a problem. Simply that way you can double check yourself to see if you're actually on the correct path. So we know I have one carbon and we have one nitrogen. No? Now from the periodic table, we know that carbon gives us four valence electrons, four valence electrons, and we know that nitrogen gives us um, uh, five valence electron, and that's simply from the periodic table. So if we count the total number, which is just four plus five, we actually have nine valence electrons. But remember, because we have a negative charge, and then that simply means that we must add one valence electron. So we have total uh, ten valence electrons to account for. All right. So here we simply only have two um, atoms, so we could just place them side by side. Now, the first thing I like to do is start with a single bond. And so at this point, we know that nitrogen's octet must be satisfied. Um, oxygen's octet must be satisfied simply because they're just those, um, they're those um, atoms that must have their octet satisfied, right? So if I place a double bond between this, now all of a sudden, nitrogen's octet is, well, we have um, four valence electrons around, around uh, we have four valence electrons each around the carbon and the nitrogen. All right. I could also maybe form another bond here, and this will give me two, four, six. I'm uh, giving me two, four, six. So now I'll have six valence electron around the carbon and six valence electron around the nitrogen. Right. Now at this point, we've used six out of the ten, so we need um, four more. We're missing four more electron electrons. All right. So I could actually place a pair of of single, I could actually place a pair of lone pair on the carbon and that way the carbon's octet is satisfied. Now I have two, four, six, eight valence electrons around the carbon. I still have only uh, six valence electrons around the nitrogen and I've used eight total so I'm missing two valence electrons. Mm -hmm. So I could actually try to put this on the nitrogen and that will give me two, four, six, eight valence electrons around the nitrogen. Now, because this is an ion, this will be a plausible Lewis structure. We've counted two, four, six, eight, ten valence electrons with both octet of the, the carbon and nitrogen being satisfied. Uh, but since it's an ion, we must put a bracket, and this is actually a plausible Lewis structure for the molecule. Now, you may be wondering where the negative charge is coming from. The negative charge is actually coming from the carbon. If we do a quick way of calculating or formal charge on the carbon, we know that from the periodic table, we know that carbon has four valence electrons. And we subtract that from the, the total number of electrons around carbon. Now, when I say total number of electrons around carbon, I'm using a shortcut way. So there's, a, I'm pretty sure you guys know by now, there's actually an actual formula for calculating the formal charge. You know, bonded pair uh, minus some number, half the bonded pair, something something around um, that. I'm doing it a shortcut way. So when I say the total number of electrons around the carbon, what I mean is that the total number of electrons, that's actually from the carbon. So if I draw... A circle around the carbon and I look at just the electrons that are contributing to the carbon so this includes one two three four five now remember in these bonds you have one for the nitrogen you have all three from the nitrogen and all three from the carbon so I'm counting all three from the carbon all right so we have three plus two that would be five valence electrons so we have four plus five and we know four plus five, I'm sorry. So we have three plus two and that gives us five. So we have four minus five is what gives us a negative one. And this is where the negative charge is coming from. This is, this is a plausible structure for the molecule.